Vai, dois, dois, dois. Dr. Hamilton. Peter. How do you do? So good to meet you. How do you do? Excuse me, I won't be a moment. Still three o'clock, yes? Oh, no, no need to reschedule. This won't take long. It should be very quick. Right then, please do take a seat. Delighted you could make it to London. I do hope you get the time to enjoy it a little, too, considering how busy you've been recently.
Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll try to. Good, do. Anyway, I imagine you're wondering why we asked you here. Well, it can't have surprised you that your field of study has been of increasing interest to us, especially since the war. Oh, you're, you're, you're interested in climatology? Oh, of course. The paper is going very well, I hear. Well, it is now, thank you. Oh, yes, your professor, John Hargreaves, passed us a copy. And it's impressive, the amount of information you've managed to gather. Although I imagine the process of gathering it was rather difficult on your limited budget. I, uh, I had some help. Oh, yes, we, uh, we heard about that. As I said, we were most impressed and wanted to make you an offer. A reward, even. Reward? Well, you've no doubt taken your budget to its limits by now. What would you say if I could guarantee you a practically unlimited budget for further study? Ensure you had the best equipment, like the Americans. Take you right to the heart of things. The, the heart of things? I believe you traced the source of the radiation back to Antarctica, didn't you? I did. I'd say that warrants further study on location, wouldn't you? It does. I'm glad you agree. We could place you with the Falkland Islands Dependency Survey working in Antarctica. Scientist bots. Happy amateurs. Very passionate, like yourself. Of course, you'd probably have to sort a few things out with the other name we saw on the paper before you go. I hope that wouldn't be too difficult, considering what's on offer. Uh, the other name, um, Clara, you mean? Uh, lovely name. Probably for the best, she wouldn't be able to go. Oh, not my say so, I'm afraid. It's run a bit like the army down there. No women allowed. Whose say so is this? I can assure you this is bigger than any one person. Bigger than two people, you mean? I see. Well, you signed those papers on your way in earlier, so I'm at liberty to tell you a little more. Things in the Antarctic, they've been a little strained recently. Lots of vested interests, territorial claims overlapping. Some sides wanting to secure the resources under the ground. Now, this kind of thing has been going on for decades, of course. W what kind of thing? Oh, the Germans were flying over there, dropping swastikas in big circles, before the war, that is. All a bit ridiculous, really. Now, I'm afraid it's the Soviets we've got to contend with. Bit of a royal mess, if you ask me. Still, we're trying to work with them. That, that sounds like a wise idea. It was wise, or so it seemed. It should all be in everyone's interest, you see. Every country signed up to something called the Antarctic Treaty. All a rather clever bit of politicking that happened behind the scenes a few years ago. Set up to ensure that Antarctica is used for strictly peaceful purposes. No weapons are to be used. No one can make any future claims on the land. Now, if it sticks, everyone will be frightfully happy. Every side content that they've staked their claim. No more aggression, let's say. Sounds sensible. You'd have thought so. We've managed to placate the Soviets so far. This is all strictly confidential, but the sounds coming from Whitehall are not good. We're rather worried that it might all fall through. I'm sure you are, but how does this affect me? Well, in addition to the climate science you'd be able to do, tracking the radiation in the clouds and so forth, we'd like you to inform us of any other sources of radiation out there, what the readings are. If there are any bombs being set off on the continent, it's important that we know as much as we can about them. We don't know what the Soviets might do next. You'd be using the very best equipment, as I said. Useful for your career. Useful for us. This is still climate science, yes? Absolutely right. The less we're involved, the better, really. But as I say, if you can help us in this small way, it would certainly help that career of yours. How can you help, if you don't mind me asking? Well, after speaking with a few people, 
Professor Hargreaves, for example. I'm sure that whatever your academic ambitions, after working on something as important as this, you'd have no trouble progressing. And if nothing else, think of the adventure of it. What a reward it would be for all your hard work. What do you think? All right. I'll consider it. Please do. Sorry, I've got a meeting in Westminster in 20 minutes. We'll have to cut this short. It's been very good to meet you. Do let me know. And if this Clara thing feels like a sticking point, all I can say is sometimes we all have to answer to something greater than ourselves. Why not think of it as an opportunity for you and to do what's right? What's right? I'm sure you understand. Women come and go. This is for your country. Thank you. 
earth was that all about? Well, cowboys, of course. I mean, I might have enjoyed it if I was a ten-year-old boy, but it was just boys and their toys again. Is that a bad thing? They're presenting themselves as if they're heroes, instead of the land grabbers they actually were. Okay, I, I see what you mean. I know what you're about to see, but they were just men testing themselves against the world. I do hear where you're coming from. Fine, I'll stop it now. And another thing, where were all the women? I can't have won, she was a cook. We'll go and see a different film next time. I'm only teasing. I, I do see what you mean, really. It's depressing. Just turn the radio on, would you? Of course. The Minister has urged for calm after news from Washington emerged tonight that the Antarctic Treaty is on the brink of falling through. Neither Britain, the United States, nor Soviet Russia could reach a deal. And, in an increasingly nervous political atmosphere, there is now the risk that there will be no agreement to stop any act of aggression in Antarctica. After pinning the blame firmly on what he called Russia's continuing aggression, the Prime Minister warned that the next steps are far from clear, and that in this climate of mistrust, the world needed to stay vigilant. It remains to be seen who will make the next move. Hey, stop shooting, you mad fool! Oh no, he's hit the engine! Hit the engine! What are you? What have you done? It's you, mate. Are you out of your mind? Sorry, mate. I thought you were a bloody Russian. Not a bad shot, though. I gotta catch us a gal for our tea. You hit the vehicle. The engine's dead. You satisfied with yourself? Never felt better. Took the last of those painkillers and a drop of whiskey sorted me right out. I thought I'd go for a walk. You found whiskey? I had that all along. Save it for special occasions. Birthdays, Christmas, crashing in the middle of bloody nowhere. Is the radio on? Ah, oh, yeah, had to get away from those beeps. Better out here. Believe me, it's not better out here. Why don't you leave me in peace? Well, let's, let's get you inside. Ah, oh, yeah, good idea. More whiskey. How are you feeling now? Bit shitty, but better. Yeah, I just, uh, just needed that that sleep, mate. Uh, that bloody noise on the radio was driving me mad. You know, there's a, a Russian voice that appears on that channel once in a while. Are you sure you're not hearing things? Huh? I might have been out of it for a while, but I know what I heard. Yeah, sounded urgent. Whatever it was, uh, same phrase over and over. Oh. Jesus, it's leg. Do you think the Russians are still out here? Ah, uh, bloody well, I hope not. Well, I hope someone's here. They don't want us here, you know. Why the hell should they save us, eh? You don't know that they wouldn't help us, do you? Whatever you found out there, you weren't supposed to see it. If you think some Soviet's gonna be happy to see you get out of here alive, you've got another thing coming. And personally, if I saw one out here, I'd make sure he didn't make it home either, before he did the same to me. Alpha Romeo Lima, this is Faraday. Faraday Station calling. A 
Are we glad to hear you. Hello? Uh, we picked up a distress call from this frequency. Uh, can you hear me? Over. Yes, 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 I can hear you. You're very faint. Uh, can you tell me your position? Over. Floyd, what's our position? Uh, at 82 degrees south, 19 west. We're at 82 degrees south, 19 west. Hello? Hello, can you, t can you tell me what's happening? Why is everywhere deserted? Over. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, what the hell are they doing? Um, it's possible that there's been some sort of radiation leak. The Soviets have been broadcasting a warning signal which might have triggered an evacuation. Uh, we think that your location is within... Um, I'm sorry, I can't tell you anymore. Uh, don't worry, there's no imminent danger. Um, can we confirm 82 degrees south, 19 west, correct? Over. That's right. We're, we're sending a rescue party out. Hold on tight. Over and out. Wait, wait, don't go. They're gone. That again, it's too bloody sinister. Turn it off. Ah, oh, well, ain't that a beauty? I can't believe it. <laughs> They're coming. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, we'll see it. Oh, I hope so, mate. We're both in line for knighthoods if we make it out, that's for sure. You still need to sober up. Your government loves to give out honors to failed Antarctic explorers. Otherwise, the whole endeavor would just look nuts. Shackleton, remember him? Marooned most of his men on an island for a year. They were pioneers, surely. Robert Scott, he got the polar medal, didn't even make it home. Heroic failures. <sighs> just like us. Hey. How does Sir Peter Hamilton sound? Uh, anyway, that's if we make it out. <sighs> Hope they find us before the food runs out. Well, I found you again, didn't I? Yeah. You did, mate. You did. Which reminds me, how did you find the plane again? Oh, dumb luck. No, no, come on, seriously. Well, no, it was lucky. Spotting the flares that you sent up. What's that? I never sent up any flares, mate. Sorry? No, the flare box was empty. Not been checked in years, my guess. Bloody panicked me for a while. Are you saying there's someone else here? Search me. Why don't you take a look out? You see anything? It's too hazy. Wait. There it is. That's not far away. So there is some here. Do you think they're friendly? Chances are no. We're gonna need more food soon. What are you doing? This is from World War One. What do you believe? Why are you playing with that thing? Here. One bullet left. I don't want it. We know there's something going on, but we don't know who that could be out there. All I'm saying is, be on your guard. I'm not shooting anyone. Just raise it up when you approach. That's all. Make sure you're the one in charge. If in doubt, make sure you're the one that fires first. There's only one bullet. Just the one. <laughs> you better hope there aren't two of them. So, you're gonna wait around here all day then? You're gonna be alright? My whiskey, mate, I'll be happy as Larry. And I've got this. So, just keep that gun raised, you'll be fine. Make sure you don't get that knighthood posthumously.
Don't shoot! Friend! Who are you? Russian! Uh, engineer! Friend! What are you doing here? I am getting very cold. You? Me too. You are right. Peter, marvelous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are 37 for four. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. There is. All right. Well, have you come to a decision? Clara and I, we, we're too close now. I can't take her off. I must say, I admire you. It takes conviction to stand by a principle like that. As I've always said, your decision. You will be fine. Done to him. Maybe I saved his life for an hour. Now? What, till your band of merry men turn up? We need to leave. Can this plane fly? What? Are you the pilot? Can this plane fly? Peter! Peter, what's going on? Why do you bring this damned Soviet agent in here? I didn't. We need to leave. You can bloody leave. The British are coming for coming. us. No, no. They're coming, all right. It's not for you. No, no, nobody is coming. You can think what you like. We're staying put, and you, my friend, can get the hell out. I tell you, there's nobody else out there now. We need to move. Right. Who the hell are you? What are you doing? I'm telling you to piss off you and however many comrades you have out there. You do not know what is at stake. You do not know anything. We will die here. We need to... Hey! We do not have time for this. Now, can this plane fly? It doesn't matter. We just need to wait till our guys arrive. What is it? Uh, is it the engine? We don't need to fly out. If it is the engine, maybe I can fix. How the hell did you get here in the first place? You must already have transport. He's, he's got a vehicle. Yeah, I had one. No fuel. It's true. It stopped in the snow. What well, what happened out there? I I didn't need to shoot anybody. The man is right. I'm not feeling very well, I think. Yeah, what's this about a vehicle? I told you the vehicle is dead. But you have one. I saw it outside. Will it move? Yeah. This man put a bullet through the engine. It's dead. He likes his weapons too much, I see. Here. Give it. So, we need to fly or we die here. I hear. What's going on out there? Your friends, are they running from something? They are an explosion. They are dropping a nuclear bomb. No, no, you're wrong. Soon. You have radio? You have heard countdown? Beep, beep like Sputnik? That's, that's a countdown. Yeah, it's just a radiation warning. It is countdown. We do not have long. You, you have heard it getting faster, yes? Yeah, Peter, it was on that frequency when I switched it off. See if you can get it.
It is getting faster all the time. The faster it gets, the less time we have. We need to leave. No, they're coming. They said they'd keep broadcasting, so we knew they were on their way. And are they? Peter, turn the dial. Can you hear anything? Uh, hold on. What's going on? There's nothing there. Christ almighty. I am engineer. Maybe I could fix the aircraft if you would tell me what is wrong. Do we just need to pull it out of the snow? Is there damage? Uh, no, no, it's, it's in good shape. I saved the plane, but uh, it's more complicated. Frozen carburetor, that's my guess. You have a lighter? Something to heat it? Uh, wait. Here. Then I can fix. Can I help? No, don't worry. If I am careful, it will be enough. Then we're all right. We're saved. Maybe. Maybe we are all saved. Jesus! What is happening? Saved by a Soviet! No, it's all right. We're gonna be all right. It doesn't matter where he's from. He might be the only man within a, a, a thousand miles who can fix this aircraft. <laughs> lucky we found him. Yeah, lucky you couldn't shoot straight. He's... Yes! Well, what is it now? You say you land the plane well, but there's a hole underneath. In the fuel tank. No. What, what does that mean? Can, can you fix it? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah I, I, I can close it up, but that is not the problem. There's no fuel. Can you check again? Yeah, it's nothing. Oh, Christ. Then it doesn't matter even if we fix the engine. There would be no point. We're screwed, then. Yeah, un unless uh, there is fuel in the wing tanks. Maybe? Not this time. Flying light. Samuel, uh... As you say, screwed. 